Hey everyone. We are in our third week of the series, I'll Be Home for Christmas. Some of you may already be home for Christmas. Some of you may be traveling this Christmas season, going to friends or family. Some of you are trying to figure out how to get part of your family into someone else's home this Christmas. It's just a really complex time of year, isn't it? I heard someone once describe what he called the intensifying dynamic of Christmas. What he meant by that was Christmas is the kind of time when our highs feel a lot higher and our lows feel intensely lower. Some of you are going to be on a Christmas high this time of year, maybe over the next week leading into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Maybe you're celebrating with your children. Maybe you're celebrating with your grandchildren, all of whom bring you this amazing sense of joy and pride. But Christmas also has this strange power of making our lows feel intensely lower, doesn't it? It can bring up what's broken in our lives or what's missing in our lives or maybe the things in our life that we just don't want to be going through. This Sabbath, we are going to dig a little bit into the story of Joseph, the father of Jesus. Joseph's story often goes overlooked in the Christmas narrative. As we're going to see this Sabbath, Joseph was not just some passive bystander in the otherwise miraculous story of Christmas. Joseph faced what for him at the outset was one of the most disappointing experiences that you could imagine. But his response to that personal crisis, that disappointment, absolutely changed his life and it changed the Christmas story and it has the power to change yours. I hope you'll join me this Sabbath as we explore the life of Joseph together. 